Alrighty, it looks like the stream is going, so hello everyone, welcome back to uh, part 32 of my Breath of the Wild first playthrough stream, and we're doing the DLC. Uh, so, in the last stream, we took on, I believe it was Vamado, like the, the Champion's Ballad for Rivali, that's his name. <laughs> Uh, and today we're going to be taking on the champion ballad for I think we'll I think we'll uh we'll 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 go go deal with Mifas because I want to do it in the same order that we rescued the divine beasts and then also I can remove that pin completely useless to us uh however I should probably pull up the adventure log go to the areas marked on the map so I want to make that marked and it's over here, the Ja'abu Ridge. Fortunately, there's not much of a close warp point. I guess the closest would be going to Varuda, which I guess in a sense makes sense, right? Because you want to go to the Divine Beast. Alright. How you doing, Varuda? Doing alright. Uh, we want to go to the one over in this general direction. Hopefully, I don't have to do too much climbing. Although, those lights... I don't like the way those lights... Oh wait, no, that's just one of the Zora panel things. Oh my goodness, that's so far away. And this is an enemy camp. Bravo. Alright. Oh, come on. Gosh, Where'd he go? Jerk. <laughs> Alright, that got me absolutely nowhere. Oh, wait, it got me arrows. Which is good because I literally have 17 arrows and I have not been buying them at all. <laughs> Alright, where do we want to go? This way. Oh my goodness, it's so far away. Rivali's gale is now ready. Thank you, Rivali. All right. Um. I think I have an idea. What I'm gonna do. Is thankfully Rivali's Gale charged just in time. And then I can glide most of the way there. Hopefully. Good enough for me. Uh, put that down. Treasure chest. Ooh, arrows. That's good. I'll take that. Uh, what I should do is I should probably put on my climbing gear because that would help. We're not we're, <laughs> the switch shirt stays on. That's my that's my one single rule for the entire champions battle. We're wearing the switch shirt. I paid good money for this. All right. Um. It should be like right up here, right? Ah, there it is. Ah, there's Cass. I thought I heard an accordion. I applaud your courage in coming here. 
The locations that will be revealed to you are of trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. Oh boy. Fortunately, I think these will be a little bit easier to see where I need to go. Maps are a bit more colorful. Did that stone monument just start glowing? I suppose that proves I didn't imagine it the first time. Hmm, fellow traveler, what brings you here? I suppose everyone has their own reasons for traveling. Look at that! There's one here too! One of the monuments mentioned in my teacher's unfinished song. Ah, oh, sweet joy! How glorious to sing this song in the very land it describes. The song my teacher left behind. There's a verse about the trials that Champion Mipha overcame. Allow me to sing it for you. Reaching skyward from waters blue. Rudish champion, a heart true. The hero's power shall grow. Seek trials, monuments show. One, find what the light's path shows. Two, conquer the ancient foes. Three, chase rings of the waterfall. Champion, the trials call. I don't like, I don't like the way those sound. So, did it move you? By asking around the champions of each region, I'm starting to piece together the key verses of the song. Oh. I can feel it. My teacher surely sang this very verse from this very spot. I wish nothing more than to carry on my teacher's dream to complete and perform this special song. To do so, I must learn all there is to know about the champions of old. Thankfully, the Zora King and Prince shared memories of their champion with me. To sing the completed song under the sky that my teacher so loved, that is the end goal of this long journey. Oh man. I like this spot, actually. It makes me happy. It's very colorful. Very serene. Alright. Where, where, where I need to go. Okay. So I'm gonna try to mark where each thing is on the map. Some sort of reservoir. Some sort of reservoir. Probably relatively close. I'm a little concerned because, well, I they probably wouldn't put it outside of the uh, Lanayru region. That would be a bit silly, wouldn't it? Uh... Alright, well, what are the other spots? Oh, those are the Tangle Islands. Uh, alright, so it's right on the edge, parallel to... Parallel to the middle Tangle Island. Or something like that, so right around here. Uh, this is right outside Zoro's Domain. Be like Mikau Lake. Something like that. Put another pin there. Be up here. This isn't like Ploymus Mountain, is it? No, I don't think it is. No, this is def this is right on the edge of a reservoir. Gotta get a better camera aim. Oh, that's weird. It's like they're they're like embedded in the thing almost, like a like fishbowl TV screen. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, all right. So it's be between a reservoir and like a stream, I think. Um.
That's hard. I don't... Giant reservoir of some sort. Is it Ritala? Is it? Uh, it's probably somewhere along this circle here. Oh boy. Man, this is probably the hardest part because I just don't know where anything is. Well, I mean, I guess what I can do is I can just get started on one of them. Or on, like, the two that I found, and then I can use the hints to figure out where the rest are. Uh, alright, so we'll go to the Kanai Shaka Shrine. And we will see what challenges await there. And there's just a random deer. Can one of the challenges be, like, guiding a deer to, like, one of the pedestals again? Can they just reuse that, please? Oh. Right, this is in a cave, isn't it? No! Oh! Hey, hello! <laughs> um, oh goodness. Well, I want to get to the top of that, so... This is a tad awk. Oh man, and it's raining too. My grip is gone. My grip is gone. Ooh, this ain't good. Ooh, I'm not making it. Oh man, I almost landed. And I... Oh man, I don't like it here. Let's try that again. Okay. Yeah, no, for real, I don't know how I'm supposed to... Oh, there's an updraft right here. Oh man, I wish I saw that. It's nice that they... It's nice that they put that updraft there, because otherwise it would have been impossible to get there. <laughs> because of the stinking, stinking, uh... Whatchamacallit's... Rain. Oh, there's times like this I wish I had... Diapy. Oh man, I miss Diapy. And then whatever the Ganon horse was. I don't remember what I named it. Maybe Big Chungus or something like that. In the butt. Oh, is the rain finally stopping? There's an enemy cam down there, but I don't think that's it. I thought I saw a light, but that might have just been the fox. Oh, hey! There are Zoras. This is the- oh, it's the Stingray dude, too. Muzu. Ah, it is you, Link. What brings you to this place? We are here at the behest of Prince Sidon, who tasked us with keeping watch on this area. This is the land where Prince Mi Princess Mitha completed her sacred trial. Now, the signs that appeared 100 years ago have returned. Princess Mitha's notes had this phrase, While the morning sun is newly born, follow the path of light to the tri trial. I'm not sure where they came from, but she often repeated those mysterious words about the trial. Okay, so I probably have to set fire to the thing. 
Todica, you look like a new person. I don't recall ever seeing you in Zora's Domain. Oh, it's the champion Master Link. How are things? As for me, I'm here to protect Sir Muzu. I hear at this very location is a trial that Princess Mifa herself challenged. If you want more information, please talk to Sir Muzu. Okay, no problem. Uh, how set fire? I got flame stick, right? I do. Alright, we're gonna sit here till morning, I guess. At least I would hope it'd be morning, because that would be kind of, uh... Oh man. I see the blue thing out in the ocean. I'm just going to assume that's where I need to go, because I don't see any other blue light. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like the look of this. Okay, uh, let me get on my Zora gear. Uh, this is the one exception to the Switch shirt stays on roll. Oh. Is, is that it? That was it? I thought I would have would have had to like swim a course. Well, I guess that's for the better because that would have been absolutely terrible if they expected me to like swim a thing even with a uh, completely full stamina. Key to Funia, the Key to Funia Shrine. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, in any case. The switch shirt stays on. Oh, I want I wonder what trials await here. But goblins, these omniv um, omnivorous monsters enjoy not only meat and fish, but also fresh fruit. So you set foot in the shrine, I am Key to Funia, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. The melting point. Okay, well I see I need a torch. Okay, well I see I just melt it, although I think my flame blade probably does like the same thing. Probably don't need to be carrying the torch. Oh, and I can push the ice when it gets just a little bit too small. That's cool. Alright, what do you do? You push more ice out? Okay, apparently he does. Uh, more ice? Do I need- oh, I see. Do I need to, like, melt this just enough until I can jump on it? Oh, I see. I, I think I need- okay, I think I see what I need to do. Because I need to basically get the two pieces. Nope, two pieces. So one is small enough that... just gonna cheat. Uh, 
Come on, Link. You can jump on that. You can jump on that. Alright. Uh, for right now, I'll put the torch on. Oh, we probably need thinking Cryonis. Right? Haven't used this in forever. Oh. Oh, I think I see. Uh, aim outward, break that. Take this ice. This is a very interesting trial. Alright. We're just gonna hold on to this till it's small enough that we can push it. Come on, Link. I can't tell if we're put actually moving it forward or if it's just getting smaller that, like, it looks like we're moving forward because we're technically just shrinking it, you know? Okay, you know what? Uh, let's switch to something with a little bit more oomph. Sure, and then we're gonna switch to stasis. Hopefully that doesn't crash into anything. Okay, good enough. Thankfully, because we're in water, it should be fine. And it's just small enough to slide under here. Come on, Link. Come on, Link. And it don't work. Don't quote me on that. A little whack. There we go. And then, because with Crayonis, what we can do is we can do this. Stand on top of this ice. And then. There we go. Hopefully we can... There we go. Ha! Unfortunately, I didn't see a chest in here. Probably just missed it. Whatever. Whatever. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this gift, Ruta's Emblem. You know what I forgot to do? Forgot to do is I forgot to make a marker for myself with the travel medallion at the shrine monument thing. Oh, I should have done that. That's gonna be a pain in the butt to get back to. Hindsight's twenty twenty, as they say. Alright. Two more medallions, yes. Hmm. 
Ugh. Yeah. All right, well, we can remove that. Things all the way up there. Ugh, man, I played myself. I really did play myself. Um, where was the other place that I wanted to go? Uh, over here, which... Similarly, similarly, it's not gonna... Not gonna be a very quick walk there. Right. Has anyone ever used octo balloons in like a meaningful way? <laughs> that isn't like just super contrived for which there is just an easier way to do things. Just wanna grab me some crabs. Sweet lotus seeds. Alright. We want to go this way. I don't know, because like all of the, this walkway are like covered in water, do you think like this is just all like a really big water slide? That's all that this is. <gasps> oh no, the crab! <laughs> oh man, I don't even know which way I'm supposed to be going. I want to go up. This way towards me, Cow Lake. Alright. Break the box, though. Single apple and arrow. I will take it. Now, I wonder which one this challenge is, because we have the thing with the light, the invisible enemies, and then uh, something about chasing things with a with a waterfall. I'm gonna assume it's the waterfall thing, which I'm going to guess is like the shield surfing, except I have to go up a waterfall. Yeah, but this looks, looks, this looks like that. Alright, well, uh, do I need it? I think I need to wear the uh, equip it to swim waterfalls, swim faster, do you spin attack underwater? Okay, so I'm going to assume I actually need to put on the Zora suit, unfortunately. To... Ah, well. Okay, good. They put it all three in a row. Okay, this is all pretty much automated, so that's good. Ah! No! Okay, good. That's the end of it. Phew! I don't like how it got dark. Is it just turning to nighttime in-game? Or is this supposed to be ominous? Alright, most important thing... Put back on the sword, on the Nintendo Switch shirt. <laughs> the most important part. All right, what challenges await here? Hope it's nothing too bad. Ugh, wouldn't be awful if it's something to do with swimming, but.
Mm, it might have something to do with scaling a waterfall with... What's his face? So, Ma, Alaya, name of God's Halia, I offer this trial. Trial. <laughs> Ma, Alaya, Goddess Hylia, this trial, you know? Uh, Alright, so this is something I can climb. And, oops. Oh my goodness. I've been playing this game for how long and I can't even remember what the proper button control is. What? Why'd that break? Uh. Okay, this is weird. Am I gonna have to, like... Oh, wait. Do I have to, like... Okay. This is weird. This is- oh, goodness. Uh... This is- this is bizarre. Um, alright, well... Clearly I need this. For something. Hmm. Uh... Maybe what I need to do is I need to pull this. Bring it down. Slide it under there with it. And... Then I can use... Like that? <laughs> okay. Who? Almost got me. Only thing though is <laughs> how am I supposed to get myself up there now? Also, I can delete that, just so that way it doesn't accidentally delete the other stuff first. Ooh, wait. and then I... can stand on this ledge. Slide that under there. Break this. Okay, that is risky. -he. Uh, <laughs> maybe if I can just. I could just... <gasps> okay, nope. Alright, how does this work?
Okay. So clearly that is one way. Oh. What do you mean I can't climb the, the ice? <laughs> Game. That's unfortunate. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna delete that one. Why can't I just aim underfoot? Why do I have to, like... Okay, that wasn't it. Um... Ah! I just use magnesis and put it on I could, couldn't I? Oh ho. This isn't good. How am I supposed to get higher than this? <laughs> like, for real though. I don't like this. I'm, I, I'm legitimately a bit stumped because even if I were to put the box back below and I were to use ice to boost it up, it would still only get it that far, like that tall. I don't like this one. I don't like the platformy ones. Where did the box go? All the way down there. Great, great, great. Can I reach it from down here? Oh, thank goodness. Like, please don't make me have to do all that all over again. Although, can I... Aha! I see. Put that in there, and then I can switch to... Cryonis again. Basically... No! <sighs> well, so much for that. Oh, man.
It's just annoying because I'm like, how am I supposed to? Okay, back to square one. Back to square one. Actually, that was... I didn't need to do that. I need to do that. Pull this. Wedge it in there. Uh, and then basically do the same thing here. Um, what exactly, what exactly did I do? Perfectly there. Um, how did I manage to do this the first time? Good lord, I, I hate, I really don't like dealing with crayonness. <laughs> oh, everything is just super buggy, feels like. Maybe not buggy, but touchy, I should say. Okay, thanks. Can I just use stasis on this and launch myself up? That might be easier at this point. If this doesn't work out, I'm just gonna use- I'm gonna see if I can use, like, stasis and just absolutely rocket myself up. Oh, Link! No! like this. Alright. Oh. 
hate this. You know what? Okay. So I think this is going to work. I think I can make that work. <laughs> Ah, okay. Absolutely. Absolutely I can do that. Okay. <laughs> screw, screw Cryonis. <laughs> Oh, I love how in Breath of the Wild, there's always an alternative solution. Almost always. Alright. <sighs> well, that was a bit disappointing that I couldn't figure out the way they wanted me to figure it out. But, you know, Cryonis is just super touchy, so I don't really fault myself. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this gift, Ruta's Emblem. Ooh, elephant marble, elephant marble, elephant marble. Put it in my chest. Click three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. Alright, my dude. One remains. That doesn't sound ominous at all. And the question is, where in the world, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? But then also, where the heck is that last shrine thing supposed to be? Spherical bombs will roll downhill, whereas the cube-shaped bombs will not. Make sure you use the right bomb for the landscape. I mean, IMO, I've never found the spherical bombs to really be much more useful than the square ones. Anyway, I need to head back here, thankfully because this is... Oh, isn't this like Plumes Mountain? Isn't there like the Lionel here? <laughs> uh, yeah. Shadow back point this way. Maybe I'll beat up the Lionel while I have the opportunity. You don't see me. Afraid of these things. Lionel bow. Ooh, I want to take a picture of these though. Ooh, Lionel sword. All right. Well. Oops. Well, let me drop something. Swallow bow. Poopy, muzzle ball, poopy, and the claymore. Claymore is almost broken. Wait, what the? Lionel shield. Oh, okay. Uh, I also need to take a picture of that. Uh, and then I'll drop a shield. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, I'll drop the steel as a shield. Okay. Um, where did I want to go? Back down there. 
Honestly, that was kind of funny how just quickly I dropped that line. Like, I could have mounted him. And I guess... Does that make him like a horse? Or is it more just along the lines of like, you just... It's just extra damage. Back here, lizard! Oh, he phased into the rocks. Disappointing. Well, actually, this is actually a semi-fast way, I guess, to get back here. Wouldn't say it's necessarily the fastest, but it works. All right, fall down just a little bit. East Reservoir Lake. Alright. I think this last one is the Invisible Enemies one. Okay, right, because we did... This one, which was Mikau Lake. We did... That one, which was Tingle Island. And... This is the one we need to do. So, it's north of some... Oh, wait a minute. Is it Upland Zorana? Yeah, that looks about right, actually. Because then there's this small... Oh! Or is this supposed to be from, like, when it was- the reservoir was fuller? It's still, it's got the six, it's got like the six rocks in a row, the six peaks, so it actually doesn't seem too far off. Um, I think actually it might be easier to fly over from Akala Tower. You know, who knows, I'll have to climb there eventually at some point. Perfect guarding, it's still not something I do. Ooh, it's chilly. We're gonna freeze to death. Okay. In hindsight, maybe this wasn't much faster, because I'm going to have to do a lot of climbing. Unless I used Revali's Gale Plus, then I could have gone a little bit faster. Or a little bit higher than I could have, um... Wouldn't have had to climb. Whatever. Oh, and there's stinking... Ancient foe. Oh, right, it was ancient foes, not invisible foes. I think it was invisible rays. This must be where I got that idea from. Okay, well, let's put on our climbing gear. Nintendo Switch shirt stays on. All right, what was what was the 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 thing? Conquer the ancient foes. All right. Alright, I don't want to be using the Lionel Sword. I want to be using the big stuff. Ha! Dummy. I'm not even afraid. I'm not even scared. Alright, I need to conquer the ancient foes, which I'm going to assume would be the... Whatchamacall, it's the, 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 oh my god, what are they called? Guardians. That's the word. Let me... Do I still have some ancient arrows? Let 
me using let me using on oh, my my good bow. <laughs> Is that it? That's all. Ah, stinking Lazalpos. I just want the goodies. Let me have my goodies. Look at all this gear. Ooh. The big hearty radish? Okay, uh, well. Oh, wait, all right, I have the ancient shield, so I just need to get a one handed weapon. Okay. Hehe. <laughs> To parry, I need to hit the A button, right? With the timing. Um, isn't there a golden bow or something? That's... Maybe. I thought I had something that had, like, a close range. Guess not. Alright, well, let me get the goodies. Please do not mind me, little monsters. I'm not here for you. <laughs> Ancient arrows are strong as heck. I'm gonna have to grab a bunch. Like I'd be shooting a little bit more freely, but I don't have that many left. Ow, okay. You just keep doing that. Oh, I see. That's what the stationary ones are. They're the flying ones, but without wings. I thought they were just like a different type, but that makes a lot more sense. Also, these shrines are like in areas I never would have thought to ever like even like come by. This game is huge. Really? There's a shrine nearby? I didn't even realize. Oh, and it's right up here. I thought it was up- I thought it was gonna be like up in the middle. I would go there if the stupid <laughs> rain would ease off. Alright. Last trial. Nothing could be last worse than the last trial, you know? With the stinking waterfall climbing. Ugh. Just give me something where it's like, just climb up this waterfall, bro, and just call it a day. Not like in the ice, ice kind of way. <laughs> the put on your Zora gear kind of way. In the name of, who's, to you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Sato Koda. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Support and guidance. Okay, this is just a cliff thing, so I don't want to be walking off the... Lift. Is this one of the mechanism ones? What? Okay, uh, I gotta see. So this rolls. What is this called? Support and guidance. Ooh, I almost just walked right off. I'm not entirely sure what the deal here is because... I need to get this thing out here. Just switch down there. 
which does basically nothing. Alright, um, I'm gonna just assume I need to actually fly over there and climb on top of it myself. That seems the most reasonable. Ooh, key. What does this actually do? <gasps> oh, key! Oh, good lord. That's what that does. Okay, and then I also realize now that... That this is made of water. Okay, so wait a minute. Uh, I want... I would like it if this one went down, please. Please? Realistically, though, what am I supposed to do? Because ah! oh. okay. What am I supposed to do? I'm too heavy. Or I'm not heavy enough. Like, legit, what does it want me to do? I'm not gonna make this. Oh, thank goodness. Maybe if I put it here? This is arguably worse. Can't I get this stupid thing to... Are you for real? Oh my good lord. Oh 
Man, I don't even know. This is gonna miss our whack. I think if I put it right in the middle, like, because it's falling, it'll, like, shoot. There we go. That'll do it. Okay, here, okay, I have, I have a little bit of a plan. Okay. I'm just gonna wet. Okay. There we go. For that, we do this. Giant ancient, giant ancient core. Nice. Okay, that was a little bit of a pain in the butt. But you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Who we? Quite an experience. Quite, quite, quite an experience. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this gift, Ruda's emblem. Hey, thanks, dude. This is the last elephant marble I need. Rutas emblem, emblem, the commemorative sword of a water trial's completion by one who wishes to control a divine beast. Collecting three emblems will lead to a new challenge. You get a full heal. Now that you have collected three emblems, you must go to divine beast Varuta. Okay, we'll go to Varuta. Uh, I wonder how much of the compendium we have done. Let's actually check that. Hyrule compendium. We have quite a number of things, but almost we almost have all of the uh, like the, uh, the the materials. That's cool. We have very few monsters, which I'm like I don't I'm, I don't get. Cause animals are a separate category. I'm like, I don't buy that there are that many different kinds of animals because, like, I feel like we've seen pretty much everything. Like, you telling me that there's another Henox or something? A white Henox? Silver Henox? I'm not sure I'd buy it. Uh, anyway, we need to warp to Baruta. Lots and lots of loading screens in this game. Lots and lots of lots of them. Ooh. All right. I wonder what we'll what we'll have going into this because it's supposed to like mimic the um, divine beasts. Or like the champions that went in with the divine beast, so you're only you're limited in your weapon. So I'm gonna guess a Zora shield, a Zora sword, and Mifa's trident, and that's gonna be it. That's my guess. To the one who approaches this divine beast, in the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. In exchange for Ruta's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. 
Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. Oh boy. Oh boy, what could it be? What could it be? Oh, then we have a Zora bow. Completely forgot the Zoras had bows. This illusory, illusory realm was created from the depths of your memory. The enemy that you shall face here is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. Whoops. Water blight, how you doing? How are the kids? I'm gonna take that as they're not doing too well. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Your wife took them. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, what do I have? No shield. Uh, multiple tridents. A silver bow and ten regular arrow. Okay. Thanks. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to just get close to stabbing you. Okay, ouch. Okay, I'm just getting speared. Okay, <laughs> this is going super well. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know what? Sure. This is stupid. Oops. I mean, if it works. Ow. Ow. I'm not doing too hot. Do I at least have my food? Oh, no, I don't even have all my food. Oh, crap. That's not good. Okay. I gotta... Can I, can I still parry? Okay. Uh, this one I might actually lose. <laughs> Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Maybe I need to practice my... Ow. Oh come on, I did my, my parry. You know what, at this point it might just be easier to... Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> that works. Thank you, Urbosa. What would I do without you? Okay, 
Okay, thank you, Mipha. Ow. This ain't gonna do too well. Ow. This is hard. supposed to do here? I've got like 10 arrows. You want me to shoot from afar? Like I know I have to make it count but at the same time like I feel like I'm shooting him. Link. Does this break my entire thing? It does. Okay, okay, this is just great. How the heck am I supposed to do this? Also, Link, I was literally going the other direction. I'm out of... Like, I literally am not sure what I'm supposed to do. It's like I can't hit him without the arrows because like I legitimately am not I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here I legitimately don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here because if I like I only have 10 arrows like how should I just not have used them in the first part? Forgetting all of the keys. Oh my god, Link, can you just stand up for a second, please? Like, I'm I'm literally pushing him against the thing, but he's just like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I legitimately don't know what, what to do. You know, I'm just gonna have to leave and then try again, because it's just, like, I don't know. Like, I can't hit him with the spear if I'm on the platform because he's too high up. I only have 10 arrows. Like, I, I legitimately am not sure what it wanted me to do there. You know, like, other than just, you gotta save your arrows before you realize. Which I think is kind of a stupid thing. I think that's kind of a stupid decision. The only other thing would be, like, throwing bombs, but, like, <laughs> you know, bombs barely float. Yes, can I just skip it? I get it. I get it. Let me skip the cutscene. Ugh. Does it save if I had Mipha's Grace? Yes, I get it. Please, just let me fight it again.
Ow. Ow. Okay, so apparently it does not save if I had Mipha's Grace. Link! Oh my god. It's like, I stand right here. Like, I stand... Like, I'm literally running in the thing and he doesn't know how to take a step up. Like, please. Okay, ooh. Poke the thing, poke the thing. Oh great, this is just great. There we go. Oh, good lord. That was stupid. Frankly, that probably has to be the hardest one, because there's no way it would be any more annoying than having to deal with the water. Ugh. And there's Cass. Oh, 
Perhaps meeting you here was no coincidence. This is a perfect spot for you to get lost in your thoughts, as well as a perfect spot for me to write a song. Ah, wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Mitha has truly invigorated me. In fact, it has inspired me to honor her in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to roost here, near the divine beast Varuta, which Mitha herself mastered. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion Mitha. Recall the champion of Ruta's wrath. Before she walked her chosen path. Mitha's kindness was known to all. Which is why the princess came to call. Oh, it's like a it's like an accordion version of uh, her her theme. Anyway, this is a cutscene, so I'm gonna mute myself. So, Princess, may I ask who the other chosen champions are? Goron Vigilance, Daruk. Rito Confidence, Rivali. Gerudo Spirit, Urbosa. And also. The Hylian with the sword that seals the darkness. Me. Oh. Sidon! Hurry and swim up here! Mitha, perhaps he is still too young to swim up this big waterfall. One day, Princess, I must leave him to face my fate with Ruta. Sweet Sidon, should fate ever part us, I'm counting on you to protect our beloved home from harm. Understood? I believe in you. Now, shall we try one more time? <laughs> Hmm, mm, though she was known for her kindness, it seems the Zora princess could be quite strict when necessary. So, what do you think of Champion Mitha's song? By writing a song that captures the determination of Champion Mitha, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. I feel much more confident that I can do just- I can do those missing lyrics justice- justice- ugh. You're so strong. So much stronger than before. The power of Mipha's grace will now recharge much faster. Ooh, hooray! As powerful as you are, I am certain you can save Hyrule. As well as the princess who awaits you. Hooray, because now we can be even more reckless. Champion Mitha's divine gift, if your hearts run out, you'll automatically be resurrected with full full health plus temporary bonus hearts. It now requires less time to recharge. Alright, awesome. And might I add, baby Sidon is adorable. Um, <laughs> and I also noticed that um, the, uh, Mitha's pose right before she jumped down the waterfall... Uh, was like her her uh, like official artwork pose, 
And I find that interesting, and I wonder if they did the same thing with the Revali and I just didn't notice. Um, so that'll be, that'll be interesting to look out for in future, in, uh, the Urbosas and Daruks, um, things, you know? Uh, but anyway, I think that's enough for one stream, so thank you to everyone who stopped by. I appreciate you coming by and, uh, coming in to watch and enjoying me fail at defeating Waterblight Ganon. Um, and in the next stream, I believe we will go to, uh, what is this? The, El the Elden Region, that's what it's called. The Elden Region, and we will take care of the monument up there for Divine Beast Va Rudanya. So, thank you again stop for stopping by, and have a wonderful night!